Hello and welcome to Brawl News, the most legitimate news source on the Brawler Net. I'm your host, BrawlDPie. I mean, the Brawl News guy. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Our Brawlmalist recently found a leaked picture of what is thought to be a new upcoming brawler. However, they seem to be at a loss of what to call it. R Rick Durarli? Dariba? Barrel Shay? Even possibly Bob. Hmm. You know what? He kind of does look like a Bob. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carlos Syme and this is Brawl News and no, no it is not the most legitimate news source on the internet. That of course is uh, claimed by PewDiePie I think, but Brawl News is pretty close. First off, players have reported that Carl was actually released in the game for a very short bit. In fact, Danny, the newest community manager for Brawl Stars did let us know that the team was testing a few things and he was actually visible on the brawler selection screen for a few seconds, but uh, then they removed him. <laughs> so the real question on everybody's mind is when is Carl actually going to be released? Well here is what we do know. We know that it will happen sometime in the middle of this month. We also know that Gene was released on a Friday. We also know that the 15th of March, which is the middle of the month, is indeed a Friday. Y you're telling me there was a recent AMA on the Brawl Stars subreddit and they said that it wouldn't be on the 15th, it would be a little bit later. Okay, well, it looks like he won't be released on the 15th. That's right, guys. This is the most up-to-date source on Brawl News. But it looks like it won't actually be in the middle of the month. It will be a little bit later, but it will actually still be happening in March. So maybe next Friday, which would be the 22nd? I don't know. It's not necessary that they actually release Brawlers on Fridays. That was just one brawler that they recently released. Um, but one thing that is important to recognize is the fact that Supercell has recently started teasing new skins in Brawl Stars. Now, Gene was actually released on the day of an actual update, and so they w probably won't be doing that with Carl, although I guess it's possible. But my guess is that they're going to want to tease Carl because we know that he is actually in the game because Brawl Stars was, the, the dev team was actually testing with things. We know that he's there. They just need to, like, press a button. To release him. Please press that button, Supercell. It might be more complicated than that, but my guess is that they will release him sometime here pretty soon, and we'll likely know at least a couple of days beforehand due to a tease. Either way, I'm excited to uh, be able to spin with Carl Super without it having to mean that I'm teaming. Speaking of teaming, Supercell has announced that publicly that they are fine with teaming. <laughs> And uh, they don't have any plans to ban teamers in Showdown. <laughs> now, as you guys know, I am very much against teaming in Showdown in a very big way. I could actually rant about it for about 15 minutes and 42 seconds. Oh, yeah, I did that last week in a video. <laughs> you guys uh, know my opinions. <laughs> but in that recent Ask Me Anything, Ryan, the community manager for Brawl Stars, responded to a question regarding teaming in Solo Showdown by first off clarifying two types of teaming. Uh, rampant teaming where you can't really win without teaming and Supercell agrees that this is not fun. And then the teaming where you have two brawlers that team up to try and increase their odds against other players. And to this type of teaming, Ryan said, generally speaking, we are fine with it. <sighs> okay, with all theatrics aside, the reason why Brawl Stars says that they are fine with this is because the strategy eventually results in players having to backstab each other. The biggest flaw to this is the fact that 90% of the time, that's not a made up number. Okay, that is a made up number. <laughs> the majority of the time, it is a much better strategy for you to be loyal to the person that you team with than to betray them. Also, by getting betrayed by the person you team with is like a consequence of teaming. The real players that suffer are the players that get taken out because of a team when they decided to play the game fairly. Now, despite Supercell saying that they are fine with teaming, I'm not 100% convinced that they actually are. They are much better listeners to the community than to ignore the community's number one uh, negative piece of feedback and complaint. I think that they're just kind of like backed up into a corner right now where they know that it's an issue and that it is not the best for the game but they don't want to do bans and they don't have another really good solution to try and stop teaming completely in showdown and the way that the game mode is built favors people to team with each other and so they kind of like have to say that they're okay with it otherwise they would be considered hypocrites for not banning players for doing something that they're not okay with anyway time will tell 
um, regarding teaming and showdown. And if you do have any suggestions, please put a comment in the section below letting me know because uh, Supercell and me are desperately looking for the best solution to it. Breaking news! The Brawl authorities have received reports saying that Stewie McBeaker was found commenting on a popular Brawl Stars YouTuber's channel. They're doing their best to determine exactly where the comment was made from, as his house was under 24-hour surveillance and Stewie is nowhere to be found. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future discoveries with this current situation. Back to you, Kairos. In other news, the community is demanding that Supercell hire Getty Core as an artist for Brawl Stars. This petition right here is one of the most upvoted posts that I have ever seen on the Brawl Stars subreddit, and it is clear to see why so many people are on board for this. Getty Core has been creating phenomenal skin concept artwork almost daily, and every new piece that he does is truly incredible. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Brawl Stars is actually looking to hire a 3D artist for the Brawl Stars dev team. Unfortunately, Getty Core has responded in a few places that despite his great two-dimensional work in Photoshop, he does not have the 3D skills for the job. I guess we can only hope that they'll hire somebody that's really qualified so that they can then put Getty Core skins into the game because I need myself a chicken crow. I need myself a bathtub, Carl. I need myself a ninja cat, Terra. As you guys may know, once Carl is available, all of the content that Supercell has brought to us with the most recent update will have been released. After that, it's only a matter of time before we start hearing word of a new Brawl Stars update. At which point, I would like to remind you that I will be bringing you guys to the newest and latest sneak peeks as soon as I can. That said, there are a few things that we do know are actually coming, okay? So Frank in the AMA said that there are some brawlers that still need to have reworks to their artwork. Bo, Crow, Daryl, El Primo, Pam, Piper, and Terra, along with a few other changes to Frank, Penny, and Jesse. Now, typically with the 3D artwork being redone, there will be a few things that will happen. Old skins such as White Crow, El Rey, and El Rudo are likely to be revamped. There's a good chance that some of them will be remade to look a lot cooler and then become worth a lot more gems, similar to how Golden Rico went from a 30 gem skin to a 150 gem skin, and some of us forgot to buy it beforehand, even though he literally warned thousands of people beforehand that they should buy the skin early. But we'll likely also see one to two new skins for several of these brawlers. Personally, I'm really looking forward to a Terra and a Piper skin, specifically a Ninja Terra and a Wedding Piper skin. On top of that, guys, Frank gave us one word regarding the next update. Green period. What? Green? I wish this guy would have asked for like five words. <laughs> okay, so a few things do come to my mind. First off, pa St. Patrick's Day is coming in a few days, the 17th of March, where I don't think we'll actually have an update before Carl. I think it'll happen afterwards. I don't think that we'll be getting some new St. Patrick's Day skins. Second is the fact that color brings to my mind money, or in this case, gems. I could be wrong, but I think that Supercell probably feels like they're okay with the amount of gems that they're giving people. I mean, although I would, I would, I would like more free gem supercell if you want to send some my way. Third is the luscious greenery that comes from the bushes on several of the maps in the game. I doubt the maps getting lots of green bushes is the biggest thing that would justify the hype behind the single word green in, the, in this upcoming update. My guess is that there's some cool new brawler that is very green that is likely coming to the game. That would be really, really cool. I would. I would really enjoy that. Either that or Leon is getting a skin to add fuel to my nightmares. Are you a skilled and competitive player in Brawl Stars and you think that you have what it takes to bring back the cash prize of $15,000? DreamHack Mobile Series is going to be a place for Brawl Stars and Clash Royale players to prove themselves this May and June. There's all sorts of ways that you can compete and and have a chance to win and I'm not gonna go over all the details but there is a link below that will bring you to the site so that you can look all that over yourself if you're interested. I'm actually really excited to see more esports type scenes coming from the Brawl Star scene. Last time at the Red Bull EM, um, MEO, MEO, EMO, 
Wow, I was casting it. I don't even remember what to call it. It was the Red Bull MEO by ESL. But it is certainly exciting to see that Brawl Stars is going to be seeing some more competitive gameplay here in the future. Anyways, guys, one last thing for this video. One segment that I'm wanting to do in the future is where you guys recommend to me a smaller content creator, preferably under 10,000 trophies. <laughs> wow. Preferably under 10,000 subscribers. They can be over 10,000 trophies that you think deserves a little bit of credibility and for me to spread the love too. So make sure you guys drop a comment below letting me know which YouTubers you think deserve a little bit in the spotlight. I guess for now I'm supposed to turn the time over to um, PewDiePie. I mean, uh, the, Brawl, the Brawl News guy to uh, conclude this session. On to you, Brawl News guy. Thanks for answering everybody's questions, Kairos Time. But now for the real question that nobody seems to have the answer of. Will Crow receive a buff in the next Brawl Stars update? Only time will tell, but it's looking like the probability is very foul. Foul? Jerry, is that because Crow's a bird? Really? Come on.